Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome to Tomb Raider. Are you ready to rise? Because it's the rise of the Tomb Raider. Earlier, when did we do it? In 2013 we played Tomb Raider on the channel, the series reboot, and now the sequel to that reboot is here, and it looks gorgeous. I don't know how awesome the game is, but I'm assuming it's gonna be cool. Sort of jumping into this blind, because it's a new game and it's a new experience. So let us go and see what our dear Croft lady is going to get herself into this time. It's probably crazy. The combat difficulty, I'm good with Tomb Raider. The medium settings are always fine with me. Alright. Let the narration begin. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience? To face the unknown. As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept, and gradually we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money's gonna get them through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's gonna be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. The last game really gave our girl a beating, so I'm surprised she's back for more. You're almost there. Wait till you see this view, Lara. Take my hand. Thanks. Look at that. It's amazing. But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Oh yes. The trail leads up the mountain. Oh yes. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. This is pretty. All right. Let's take it easy here. Oh, if you can view this video in 60 FPS, I recommend it. I'm surprised I can play it in 60. Whoa. We just need to keep moving. And I'm supposed to stand around and admire the view. Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Uh, I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry. I'll call you. Oh. Bernie. Even if we don't find anything up here, your dad would be proud. Sure. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. So, we are in like northern Siberia or somewhere in Russia. And we're looking for a lost city? Oh, shit. Following okay? Lost my footing. Hold on. I'm fine. There we go. Now subtitles should be enabled meaning I can actually talk and you can still figure out what's going on. Yay. Who oh, shit? Ship, 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 ship. Damn, that was close. Laura, we got this. Are you alright? Whip. Jonah! I'm fine. Oh, it's a tutorial. Jonah, don't worry about it. Down there and get you. No, it's too dangerous. I'll be just fine, Jonah. I can climb back up. Look at this. Sure? I'm a monkey girl. Just stay put. Climbable walls, craggy walls of ice and rock are climbable. Well, let's get two of them. What are we waiting for? Yeah. There we go. Good girl. Uh oh. Let's try and avoid those. Something's gonna fall. Oh, come. <laughs> Just looking into death. But you're staring death in the eye right here. If one of those falls down. Yeah. Good, good, good. So expect. I need to jump across. Quite a few. Spectacles in this game. Yep. Ugh. Got it. Oh, oh, do you have me? That's the question here. Thank you. Thank Shit, you, Jonah. Laura. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? Yeah. Come on. I'm just gonna call you Bernie. I like that name. You fit to be Bernie. 
Let's go, Bernie. Oh, XP for almost dying. Looks like you gotta go through. Don't you worry about it. I'm ready for anything after the last after the last game. I feel pretty badass. That was sort of us coming into elements. So I'm gonna see how where they take your. I know this is a long shot, but that old tracker said he saw ruins up in these mountains. Oh, look at this game! Look at this game! Are you looking at it? I, I'm looking at it. Are you? So pretty. Oh no, dude. Well, I guess if I was gonna hide a lost city, this might be the kind of godforsaken place that I'd do it. Good point. I just hope Trinity hasn't beaten us to it. I've seen enough Lord of the Rings to know where this is going. Okay. Saruman's gonna mess us up royally any second now. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. Why are we going alone? Why isn't Bernie following? Something's gonna happen. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just his last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. But keep close to the wall. Okay. Bernie, you're a brave man going along with Croft. Looks like we climb from here. Keep your eyes open for falling ice. Right. You ready? Let's do it. If I die, you die. Yeah. Got it. Go, go. I'm playing with the controller for minimized noise because keyboard noises are annoying to listen to. Oh, hoop! Hoop! Oh, shit. I'm fine. I survived. I I'm good. Yep. I'm not an outdoors person, and uh, this isn't helping. <laughs> There's a difference between actually going outside the house and climbing uh, mountains in Siberia, though. There's just like a small difference. It's very minor. Well. Wasn't a huge amount of backstory as to why we're here in these mountains, but I guess that will come over time. What did you? I'm going to dig in. Can you make it across? I can make it. Can I? All right. Ooh. Oh. Holy shit! I don't think I can make that jump. Stay there. I'll anchor a line for you at the top. All right. You was. Just give it a shot. Worst case scenario, you pull us both to our icy death. Almost there, Laura. You got it. Oh man, it's gonna be a jump. Wait, what's? Wait, Saruman, I knew it. I knew it. Oh no. The weather gods are not happy with Christopher Lee's passing. Ooh, we, we found something. We made it. I see the ruins. Oh god. Don't get too excited. Oh, yep. Yep. Christopher Lee, why? I got you. I got you. Laura. Can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to pull you back up. Oh, fuck. Over there! Oh um. <laughs> the This is one of those games that just goes seamlessly from cutscene to gameplay, so you're never sure, and it's so difficult to commentate. But it's so good! Oh, I got okay. Let me swing. It's like the opening of the other one where I was stuck in a cocoon. Remember? Great, 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 great. Alright, just one more try. One more try, Bernie. Come on. I know your name's Jonah. Your name is Jonah. I think Weezer made a song about you. Wait, that was Jonas. Whatever. Should have been Bernie. Go. 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 Yes. Go back, Jonah. Get the shelter. 
These things never start off quietly, do they? They're like, how much crap can we throw at you? Uh, right at the beginning. To make you stressed out of your mind. They're doing a good job so far. Good job, guys. Appreciate it. That ain't good. Actually, it is good. You made a path. Thank you. Convenient to place rock. Oh. Oh, I can't believe I'm actually managing to do stuff. Uh-oh. Oh. Um, okay. Sure. I'm breathless. I'm honestly breathless. Stop! Stop! <laughs> okay. We got... Oh, 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 it's coming! Oh, great! Climb. 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 Oh. I have a dog next to me. He's like, why are you yelling? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, doggy. I'm not okay. I'm babysitting a dog. And he was so quiet. He was just laying on my carpet having a little nap. So I was like, let's just record some Tomb Raider. But now he's like, okay, now Carl's, Carl's up to something. I don't know what. Grab it. You got it. You got it, Croft. Ooh. Okay, thanks. Now we get some calm backstory. I like that. Ooh, we're in London. How lovely. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but... I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were well, you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. 
I don't want to see you end up like him. But Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. The tomb's in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> Oh boy, we're going to the Middle East. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. We better be sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. Is it really? You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. <laughs> you <laughs> Shit, they weren't supposed to shoot at us. Get us out of here. Shit, shit. I know this probably isn't the time or place, but I love your outfits. It's so nice. It reminds me of what you wore in the first one. But, yes. It's been a few minutes into this mission. I'm already covered in blood and dirt. We have a few bruises too, but we'll be... No, oh, we won't be fine. We won't be fine. Nope, definitely not. The northwest border of Syria. No turning back. It has to be here. It's such a seamless transition. It's insane. And it's so pretty. I'm just like, oh my god. The future of games, man. The future of games. So beautiful. Get out of here. Oh! We knocked our noggin. Maybe the rest of the game is just something we imagined. Maybe we actually died there. And this is all just like our pre-death imagination? Probably. There was something in Dad's research about this. It was said the Prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the Prophet was laid to rest. And now we can jump and climb again. That's right, just walk it off. Just walk it off. Oop. And we gotta do a... Do we have to do a jump? Do we have to go up further out? There we go. Here's a ledge I can grab. Gotta find that grabbable ledge. And get your butt up there. Good, good. Something's here. It is. As you can see, um, if you are new to the later versions, you might see that her shapes are slightly less... Curvy? <laughs> She's more realistic now. Could this really be it? And a lot more bloodthirsty, actually. She's a killing machine if you give her a gun. There we go, glow sticks. Just pretend you're at a rave and everything will be okay, okay? Okay. Okay. Incredible. Some kind of marker. I can't quite make out the translation, but this word... <gasps> Prophet! This is it. <gasps> Dad was right. <gasps> hmm. 
Map updated. Monolith discovered. Press to activate survival instinct. Alright. I am Geralt of Rivia. What's this? Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mentioned this. Okay. Read Merle in descriptions to increase language skills. That's right, I think you can actually like learn the basics of languages in this game by checking out different objects. Seems to be a map of some sort, but I can't quite read the words. Advanced Laura's Greek translation skills to level one to unlock. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alright. It's time to learn Greek, because that's totally Greek to me, so. These are the miracles of the Prophet of Constantinople. Unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. <gasps> Gosh darn Trinity. Never trust Trinity. Especially not in Dexter. It's the Prophet. Speaking with a foreign army, he convinced them to lay down their weapons. Oh wow. We leveled up our Greek language skill. How nice is that? <laughs> okay. Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. Press. I'll mark down the locations. What button? Wait, what button is that? Player beacon. Use A to mark any map item with a player beacon. Player beacon appear in the world as a blue shaft of light. Ooh, that's cool. I can just make a shaft direct wherever I want to. I already was able to do that, but sure. So, was this what they wanted? Was that the one I was supposed to open? Because that... I didn't get that symbol. Eh, using a PS3 controller. Maybe it was like an Xbox One. Through the desert, to the oasis. Oh, I love that band! Let's go! Let's find a champagne supernova. Just punch rocks. Just do a good old Chris Redfield. Come on. Okay, we're gonna be smart about it. Fine. If you don't want to be Chris Redfield, have you seen his abs? Ah. Oh damn! Hello, beautiful. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. Damn. It's so pretty and it's so big. Feel free to quote me on that, I don't care. Heal! Okay, objectives are highlighted in survival instincts, so I need to get over there. This reminds me of the Sly beacon, where you can see where you needed to go around town. Okay. Jump to wall and scramble. Scramble mid jump up flat walls. Okay, I'm gonna do a little realistic scramble. Wall scrambling's my favorite. Whoop! Oh, I hear, I hear the chopper. Oh no, they're already here. Got to get inside. You got it. Ooh, balance time. Yep, balance time. Jump. Nice. I mean, not. I mean, sort of nice. Yeah, okay, very nice, very nice. Whoops! And... There we go. It's not too difficult knowing where to go. I think they've done a good job so far, at least, of marking where to go. Sometimes in these games I just struggle, I'm like, where do I jump? But it's... it's good. You've done a good job so far. The Order of Trinity pursued the Prophet and his people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Just looking around for secret goodies. A way through. I'm gonna pass by a lot of goodies, I'm just letting you know right now. And that's okay. Let's get up close and personal with this cobweb. Cobweb meets cobweb. Mm-hmm. Never a raid when you need it. Come on, come on, Croft. That was predictable. 
Alright, let's keep the raid going. Oh, 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 scorpions! Oh, okay, okay, dead people, don't care, scorpions, screw that. Oh, oh, oh. I would have been fine with the skeletons, honestly, but the scorp, the creepy, the crawly, creepy crawly, the legs, and the... <laughs> hey, buddy. Alright. We're, we're doing well. Is that a rat? There was a battle here. Wow. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The Order of Trinity. Sounds like a jolly old time. This guy enjoyed it. He would rate it at least 8 out of 10. The sword just went nice. Nice. Okay, so I should be on the lookout for these things. The prophet slain by the order of Trinity. Because you remember, we gotta level up our Greek skills. Otherwise, everything is just gonna be Greek. My son, the order of Trinity has received word that the prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Okay, so this Order of Trinity were like, yeah, screw this prophet guy, we don't like him very much. That's my too long did not listen of that one. Let's keep going. There's probably going to be quite a bit of backstory and history and such. But I'm honestly <laughs> fine with it. Damn it. That was too close. Because it's going to be spaced out with some of this as well. Shoot structural weak points to destroy traps and break rope connections. Done. I'm not supposed to... Oh, I'm just gonna go under. Alright, fine. Wasted a bullet. So we, we came prepared. Which is good. We got our gun. Infinite ammo? They're blasting their way in. Heck yeah! I mean, we kind of needed infinite ammo there, otherwise we could just be stuck forever! Oh, oh! No, 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 Croft, Crofty crew, why did this have to happen to you? No, oh, I thought I was through with being treated like this. Can I not jump here? Okay, I thought I could jump back up again. Maybe I have to break free here. Time to drown! One more for drowning! Let's hope this works. Time to get wet. There we go. We're doing fine. This game is nice looking. It is. I know graphics ain't everything, but it certainly helps the presentation. Gameplay feels good. Oh, I see. Yeah. Taking out. Whee! Nice. All right. Let's get up here, hope nothing grabs us from below. That is a constant fear of mine. Oh, we got a glow stick in our belt. That's smart. Gives off a nice little glow. Something else than just a normal flashlight. Ah! Oh! Let the traps begin! Okay, break free, break free, break free! Got it, got it! Go, go, Crofty, Crofty! Do, 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 go, go, crafty, crafty. You got this. You got this. One minute you're walking along a nice, quiet hallway filled with dead people. Next one you're drowning. I have a feeling that's going to be a recurring theme in this game. What's here? It's so pretty. Stunning. We made it, Dad. It's all so pretty. It's all so beautiful. The Prophet's Tomb. Navigate to the top of the main tomb chamber. Alright. Let's make that the final objective for this first episode. Let's see, it looks like we could get up over here. If you can jump from water, that is. K. 
Can you? No, you can't. That ain't a possibility. Let's look over here. Maybe we have to raise the water levels a little in order to access the other areas. Let's break the tomb even more. There we go. That works. And pull yourself up. Actually, I don't even have to. There we go. Oh, uh, do I really have to climb? Okay, fine. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Disrespecting the dead and stuff. It's my specialty. Whoops. Okay, so that, by jumping on that, I activated that. It said activate survival instinct. Is there anything in particular that it wanted me to... Ooh, stuff. I should probably use it more in areas, just in case I pass by stuff. It's not the end of the world, obviously, but it's always nice to get. What's here? Another religious symbol. But this one is... simple and handmade. The Prophet must have drawn followers from every walk of life. Yeah. All right. Now we got that. Gives us some experience. Not sure how the level up process is gonna work yet. We'll figure that out in time. There's a uh, nice people here with their skin gone. Just the bone left. I got a bone to pick with them. Let's see, we're gonna go here. Survival instincts are really nice. They were in the last game too, as far as I remember, but I don't think they worked like this. Seems like a very convenient one, way better than The Witcher 3. I just had a thing against the Witchers. Uh, Witcher Senses! Ooh, I, I, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to jump over. Now, where was I? Oh, Scheiße. Alright, we gotta go. We gotta go! That's fine. Then my problem with the Witcher Sense is they just it felt clunky using uh, the controls when you were walking around. You had to like look down on the ground and it was an ugly red tint. This one is so much more nice. I still like the Witcher 3. Okay, jump! Oh. Oh. There's gonna be so many bad fatalities in this one. I'm feeling it. We got a good taste. Jumpy! Good, 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 good. Oh, ah. Try to walk over and jump, but couldn't do it in time. Let's see. I need to elevate the water. Wait, why is it going back? Why is it draining? Wait. Okay, so I need to. S oh, what's Got that? Raise the water. Yep. My lord, what you say is impossible. I myself drove a spear into the Prophet's heart. I saw him die. Doubtless his people have propped another man up in the slain Prophet's robe to continue his lies. They are broken, discredited, and exiled. We will head south, and put the rest of his people to the sword. But the Prophet is dead. This, I swear. Sure about that? Maybe the Prophet has some sort of magical powers. Or maybe you're lying. Or maybe both. There we go. That's what I wanted to do, but the water got me the last time. Let's properly race the water now. It's all about getting wet. And there we go. Not quite sure what that achieves just yet. Oh, I see. You want me to go over there? Okay. Let's see. Could I even... How do I... Okay, I think if I jump on the platform and then stay on it, the water should rise. Or, or can I just walk around to it somehow? Oh, I see. Yeah, she gave me the hint just as I figured it out. This survival instinct's really nice. It's gonna help me out. I should have considered that earlier. A hanging platform. Oh, come on. I really should have considered that. Okay. Whoops. And that's gonna 
push that all the way down. And it'll be just what I need. Good. Good, good, good. Now let's not fall down, because I'd like to not do that again. Where? Oh, thank you. Don't get pushed, don't get pushed! Hang on! I got pushed. That's bad. I'm fine. You know, you might say she's been through quite a lot, but then you haven't seen the last game. She literally got a stake through her stomach during the opening minutes on the island. It was pretty bad. It was like the side, but it was still. She, she got penetrated real good. Or bad, depending on your point of view in this. Found you. Empty. It's empty. No. No. What did I miss? There was another Tomb Raider there before you. Hey, down here! Set the charges! Artifact inside, God willing. Open it carefully. It could be extremely dangerous. No, 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 please don't. <sighs> Who the hell are you? You're a smart woman. I suspect you already know. Trinity. Where is the artifact? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play games with me! You led us to this place. Look, it was empty when I got here. There was no body and definitely no artifact. Shooting time! Go, 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 go! Whoop! Press the sprint. Oh, good, good, good. You got this! We're fine. We're fine. I got the grip. I got the grip. We gotta go, 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 go! Yeah, we really, really, really do gotta go right now. I got places to be. A life to live. Not drowning to be doing. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Don't tell me I was slow. Don't tell me I was slow. I, I got that enough in my math class. Oop! So close. So close. To freedom! Go! Come on, Croft! We got this! Well, that was certainly something. It 
Jonah! Lara! There's so much I need to tell you, I don't... Did you find the Prophet's tomb? Yes, but I was followed. What? By who? They call themselves Trinity. They tried to kill me. What the hell is going on here? You're starting to scare me. The tomb was empty, but I think they were looking for the divine source. The, the artifact that your father was after? There's more. I found this symbol in the tomb. I knew I'd seen it before. It was driving me insane. That's when it hit me. I saw it here, in one of Dad's books. Listen to this. The lost city of Katesh, said to have disappeared in Siberia sometime in the 12th century. Legend says that on the eve of the invasion by the Mongol horde, it sunk beneath a lake. What does this have to do with the Prophet's artifact? The same symbol. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> if the divine source is hidden in the ruins of Katesh, waiting to be found, then I have to go. To Siberia? Are you kidding me? Just think. If this thing could really unlock the secret of immortality, it would, it would change everything. Sickness, suffering, death, gone. Overpopulation, bad. Are you listening to yourself? Jonah, we've been through so much together. You know there's more out there. This could be real. I don't care if it's real. I've lost too many friends. I don't want to lose you too. Dad never made the connection to Katesh. He gave up everything for this. Including you. Stop blaming yourself for what happened. He made his own bed. I can't give up on him. Not now. It's all I have. No, it isn't. If you stayed still for five minutes, maybe you'd see that. That escalated quickly. Get him! Chair attack! It's not very effective. Bookworm. Shit, Laura. What are we gonna do? I led them to it, Jonah. If the divine source is real, we've got to find it first. Siberia it is then. It all makes sense now. Well, guys and girls, tune in next time for the continuation. <laughs>